It's resting money here. This is a place of barnhouse chat, live streams, challenges, let's plays, and more. So I hope you enjoy. Good day, good people. Welcome, everyone. It's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here on Maple Farm by Cavalier Roy for Farming Simulator 22 here on the PlayStation 5. Now, you are currently looking at the PS4 game app version of FS22 prior to the latest update of Maple Farm for FS22. And the reason being is I want to show you the comparison of uh, how I rebuilt uh, Maple Farm with the latest update on my new PlayStation 5 on the PlayStation 5 game app version of FS22. So as you can see back here on the PS4 version of the game uh, on the PlayStation 5, um, I am in the first day of November with $48,000. And I'm going to show you a few other things. So let's go into the PDA. Here in the PDA, you will see we own field 38, 85, 84, 87, 86, 88, and 90. And we also own the farm yard, which is right here in this middle area kind of and we own the cows which is this number 90 and then we own the chickens which is this little tiny area right here okay and then i also own this farm over here just the farmyard and the chicken pin okay and over at this farm there is the slurry yard and a sell everything mod Okay, and then down here, we also own this farmyard, and that is where the mini biogas plant is. So that is the land I own back on the version of Maple Farm prior to its latest update. Okay, then um, here, if we go into my silo... Uh, if we go into here, you will see we have just over 24,000 liters of sunflowers, just over 28,000 liters of corn, uh, just over 4,000 liters of milk, over 102,000 liters of silage, over 46,000 liters of straw, over 49 or over 4,000 liters of diesel. Just over 7,000 liters of manure and just over 9,000 liters of slurry. And that is it. Okay, so animals. And before we get to animals, we have no loan because there isn't a loan in this challenge. So animals, I have... Uh, 480 chickens plus two roosters in the chicken coop at the main farm. At the main farm, I have 36 uh, cows. And then at the other chicken coop at the other farm, I have 120 chickens and two roosters. Productions, I have a sawmill, a grain mill, a fermenting silo, a mini biogas plant. Here you can see the wood planks. I have 19,000 liters of wood to produce and have 9,000 in planks right now and 675 liters in wood chips. Nothing in the grain mill. Nothing in the fermenting silo, and the biogas plant is producing 15,000 liters of silage and has 21,000 liters of digestate and storing. Um, I had played 29 hours, uh, cut 27 trees, did six contracts, 
Uh, only one year of play so far and collected one collectible. We will just give you a look of this area here and then we'll transition to the latest update of Maple Farm for the PS5 um, game app version of FS22 on the PlayStation 5. So let's just look in the landscape screen here. You can see I'm harvesting this grass right here around my farm. And um, that's what the farmyard looks like. And my created wheat field right here. That was an animal pasture, but I extended it into a little bit bigger area and sold off the animal pen. So it's a wheat field right here. And that is kind of it for this area. Okay, now let's go down to the other farms where the mini biogas plant, slurry yard, and sell everything are located. So down here at this one farm is where the mini biogas plant is. You can see here what this farm looks like. Okay, with the mini biogas plant on it. All right, now let's go over to the other farm, which is over this direction, and you will see the slurry yard and the sell everything mod. So there is the slurry yard. And then our sell everything mod with our other chicken coop right there with some chickens in it. Okay, now let's exit um, this um, landscape screen. But before we do, if you see all these decorative trees around the area, you will not see that in what you're about to see next because of the update to Maple Farm and what you can do on it now. I have got rid of all those other trees. Okay, so we will see you uh, back at the farm. All right, so um, that is that, everybody. Now, equipment, you can see that I had a my power horse harvester there with the loading wagon, and I had some other bits of equipment here. You can see a header trailer and a header on the trailer there. You can see I have a roller, uh, 3500 with a feed mixer, a fast bale, a cultivator, and a plow, my Roadrunner Plus, uh, my actual harvester with the corn header, uh, my truck with the IT box and a front lifter on the back side. And then you will see that I have some telehandler tools here, bag lifter, Bale fork, pallet fork, shovel bucket, and a weight. And then you will see in here we had a telehandler. We had this snuffle stuck, uh, trail behind three point lifter. Uh, another trail behind three point lifter. We have a livestock trailer, a flatbed for the IT truck, auto load bale trailer. Then I had a wind rower, teddy and mower over here. And a forage pickup over there in the silage bunker straight ahead. A little water tank, another front lifter, a fuel barrel, a water point, a wash station, a toolbox, some silage additive, a fertilizer spreader, a cedar and planter. A seed fertilizer huts and the tree be gone and my fer fermenting silo and then my multi-fruit silo over there and I think that uh, pretty much covers it so now we'll go over to the other version so you can see how I rebuilt this and just to kind of compare the two so you don't think I cheated in a bunch of money to, to do what I what you're about to see 
uh, I actually have a little bit less than what is currently here in the 32 hours or 30 plus hours I spent here on Maypole Farm. So we'll see you back over at the latest update to Maypole Farm on the PS5 with the PS5 version of FS22. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we are here with the latest update to Maple Farm by Cavalier Roy for Farming Simulator 22 here on the game version for the PS5 for FS22. And this day in real life is Sunday, August 14th, uh, creating this video. So this is with the latest update just prior to August 14th uh, to Maple Farm. Uh, so as you can see, the decorative trees that are around the house area here are now gone. Well, that's because of a nifty feature that was put into the Maple Farm update and so we'll go over that in just a little bit but anyway to show you what we got going on here we're going to first go into the pda menu and stuff like that so you will see here in the pda this is the land we own we own 38 90 89 92 91 95 93 we own here where the cows are at and we own this little spot here where the chickens are. Then we own this farm right here, along with the little chicken area right there. And then we own this farm over here as well. Okay, that is all we own. Now, if we move into my silo, you will see we just have over 25,000 liters of sunflowers, so not exactly 24, but that's because I didn't hit the button soon enough to stop the fill limit. And then we have 28,000 liters of corn, and I don't have any milk. I have 102,000 liters of silage. I have 249,000 liters of straw, and that is because that is registering the amount of straw that is in my cow barn right now. And then um, you will see that I only have 599 liters of manure, 750 liters of slurry, so not as much as I had prior to the update okay and that is it there okay um we don't have any loan and um we only have 240 chickens on the main farm with two roosters so i don't have 480 and then we only have 36 cows, and I have 120 um, chickens on the other farm with two roosters. Now, getting back to these cows, on the version of Maple Farm prior to this update, it only needed to take uh, just over 34,000 liters of straw to fill the barn. Now... With this many cows of only 36, I'm not even full with straw, and I have 249,000 liters of straw in there. So I don't quite understand what's going on there. Maybe Cavalier Roy will watch this and uh, notice something. Um, and then um, there's contracts okay we don't need to discuss that uh, productions we have a sawmill a grain mill a mini biogas plant a fermenting silo you can see here in the sawmill i only have 18,000 liters of wood nothing produced nothing in the grain mill uh, my mini bio, mini biogas plant only has 16,000 liters of digestate produced nothing 
init for incoming. And then my fermenting silo has 41,000 liters of grass in it because that's I've been working on the grass harvest. And then if we go into the landscape screen here, you'll see what this looks like. So here is the farm rebuild. Uh, pretty much everything in the same spot. Some trees uh, here that weren't here in the other version. Um, I do got my wheat field back in here in this creative field that I made. Or I should say expanded the pasture that was there for an animal pen. And it's got wheat in it. And let's see. Now we'll go down to the other farm or farms and show you um, what that looks like. So down here should be the mini biogas plant on this farm. So nothing different there really other than painting. Okay, now we'll go over to the other farm where the uh, sell everything and slurry yard are at and show you that so there's nothing to hide. As in giving myself anything extra. Okay, now, oops, it's right over here. Uh, nope, not over there. I got my directions mixed up. Where are we at? <laughs> where are we at now? Oh, okay, we got to go, we got to go. I got my, uh, the way I was panning across this the wrong way. So now we should be over, going over towards the other farm over here, where the slurry yard and sell everything moderate, like I had said. Uh, come on now, where are we at here? There we are. So here's the other farm with the slurry yard right there. And you can see the sell everything mod over on the other piece of property that's uh, part of this farm with the chicken coop. Now the only thing I have there is a shed to block off the chicken coop. Um, so yeah, that is that. Okay, now um we'll go back into the menus here again you'll see i have eight hours in this rebuild 14 trees cut down and two collectibles collected instead of one and if we go around here really quick we'll look at equipment it's pretty much the same i don't give myself anything extra uh, I did get a different water tank and put down an in-game water point instead. I got a fuel barrel here, but no fuel in it. Uh, I did have fuel before. I got a toolbox mod. Uh, oh, a front lifter was sitting right there. My fertilizer spreader and lime spreader, cedar planter. Uh, fertilizer seed huts, uh, fermenting silo with the tree be gone, and some pallets of lime from uh, creating that wheat field. Uh, my header and, and uh, header cart, uh, roller, bale auto load, fast bale, a uh, cultivator and plow, my harvester and um, truck with IT box and a front lifter on the back side. And then if we go back around here, you will see uh, 3,500 with a feed mixer, a Roadrunner Plus, a bottle of silage additive, a telehandler, a shovel bucket with some uh, attachments. Uh, the only one I don't have is the bale fork and pallet fork that I originally had are two front lifter, uh, trailed front lifters or three-point lifters, whatever you call them, uh, our wind roller, teddy, and mower, a livestock trailer, our flatbed for our IT truck, and our corn header right there. And then my power horse for the challenge, the Massey Ferguson harvester over here with my loading wagon, 
with another front lifter on the back of it. And that is it, I think. And uh, money is at thirty-three thousand dollars instead of forty-eight thousand. And we are in the first day of November. Um, so I think that I have uh, replicated this pretty good. Now you will see that a lot of the trees are gone, everybody. And that's because of the new feature with this new update to Maple Farm. You can shut off those decorative trees and then keep these other good logging trees to just play around with. And the shut off for that, everybody, is if we go over here to the store, um, there is another spotlight. So the spotlights look like these right here this post with that light on it and whatever they're aiming at is what it's going to shut off if you cut it down so let's go over here to the store area so there's a spotlight back here between the shop and that decorative building about right here I cut that one down and that shuts off the the uh, stone walls around the roadways and stuff and then there's another spotlight over here by these propane tanks right there. You see those propane tanks? And the spotlight is about right here. I cut it down and it gets rid of the trees. But that's over here by this gas station. So uh, that's how I did that. Now... Um, I think we're going to continue with uh, getting some of this harvested here. So we will uh, be back with you here just momentarily. Uh, and we're going to do some more stuff. So I uh, hope you all um, are understanding with this rebuild. <sighs> Um, since the map got an update and I now got a PlayStation 5, I now have the FS22 PS5 version of the game also. So I have both the PS4 version and PS5 version of FS22 on my PlayStation 5. So I wanted to play this map with the new update and because I got a PS5 now, I thought added slots as well would be the perfect timing to do this challenge so we are doing this with the latest update to maple farm and then also doing it with the uh ps5 version of fs22 here on my brand new ps5 so hopefully you all uh agree that this was a fair rebuild and i didn't really cheat anything in and <laughs> left some things out as you can see we're not don't got as much money we don't got as much byproducts from the cows uh we don't got as much we don't got any wood planks already produced in the sawmill um let's see what else don't i have that i had before but yeah, I think that's pretty close to it, everybody. So we will be back right with you. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we are back here. Going to pick up some more of this grass and maybe uh, do a little plowing. This won't be a lot of extra farming content to this episode just because I wanted to get something out showing... Um, what we had done here and why we're just getting back to it <laughs> we're just getting back to it because i didn't want to get too far into it on the ps4 version of fs22 uh, because i knew maple farm had an update coming and so i wanted to wait and see what was going to happen with that first and so I waited around, and now we have a PS5, and then Maple Farm got an update. So we were able to update Maple Farm and rebuild to what you see here. And so that's why this challenge had been kind of on uh, a stalemate for a little while. So appreciate y'all tuning back in to check this out. 
But yeah, I need to pick up this grass here. I want to get uh, my other part of my land plowed up. Because I'm going to plow it all up together, and then I'm going to divide it out into uh, some fields. And then we'll start counting out my harvest, because I have to do uh, three harvests off of my fields. So, yeah. Um, we will be doing that and seeing what that's going to look like. Hopefully here in the near future. That's kind of the plans. But uh, yeah, for now everybody, I think we're going to uh, continue to pick up this grass here. And then, like I said, we're going to plow out some land so we can kind of get maybe a general idea of what we want to do. Um with our property in regard, regards to other fields and how this is all going to look. Now I thought about plowing it all together so as you can see here we own this grass field and that grass field that we mowed together and then we own a field clear over there in the distance and then these two right here and that one's got potatoes on it but it's going to be plowed in so, yeah, I want to plow all this out and kind of lay out a new field look. That's kind of the way I want to do this. And then uh, move forward. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill this guy up again. And then we'll get out the plow and kind of start to do a little plowing but yeah for the most part this is just going to be a little bit of a shorter episode not a lot of farming content in it because we're just rebuilding also because uh cavalier roy saw my community post last night about my rebuild here on maple farm and he uh gave me the heads up that the bailing contracts are broken right now so there's another update coming to this map and it is sunday august 14th right now so the update will be coming out here soon and uh, it will not require a new game save so that is a good thing we don't have to rebuild a third time which i didn't have to rebuild this in the first place it's i chose to so and uh Anytime there's a map update, I like to play with the map update, so I try to rebuild if I'm not too far into something. So, um, yeah, with that said, everybody, let's go unload this and then get a plow out, do a little plow outline, and we'll probably end it there. Just kind of show you what what's going on. Let's unload this. All right, now we're going to get a truck and uh, plow. So let's grab our road runner here. I think we'll, we'll go plow that with the road runner a little bit. lay out our land I might decide to plow it all together after I get that grass picked up just plow all this land together but let's go down here to the start of our property I should say our bottom side of the property maybe So you can see I painted in kind of a road off to the side here so I kind of knew where my edge was of what ground I would have available. I don't think I want to go really close to these poles but I'm going to get a little bit further back than what they were. So we're going to create right there. And we're going to go through part of the road I painted 
and tear part of that up, but not all of it. Now it's going to be a little bit difficult to get some uh, straight edges, and I like straight edges. But we'll just, we'll deal with that, you know, it'll be okay, we'll survive. We can get through this. We can be a successful farmer. Hey, right. I think that looks pretty good. Now we could come a little bit wider, maybe, around this bend. So let's do that. Let's go in here. Go a little bit. A little bit wider there. And bring it. Yeah, so my fields aren't going to be straight edges. Um, yeah, because the land that we have isn't straight. <laughs> I should say. Uh, maybe that's not the right way to say it, but if we get this uh, laid out, then I can maybe uh, straighten out my fields. And then once I have my fields straightened out, I can plant in grass around them. Maybe that's what I'll do. And then it'll give me a... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it's going to turn out like. I want to round that off there. Kind of a, a little bit of a bigger road right there. Wider road. I want to narrow that up a little bit, I think. Let's go around this here. About right here. Like so. Okay. So as long as I don't get too far over uh, past my uh, pavement or my dirt look, whatever that paint is. Can't remember what color, what label that was. Yeah, I'm going to want to try and somehow make my edges a little bit presentable. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to figure this all out. So now we can go down here to my other part of my property as I own all this here. Well, we can show you a little bit more what's going on. So we're going to go all the way down here into this potato field. And go back around. I could narrow that up even more. Let's go straight down to that point that's coming out of our potato field. So we'll go right down here to this point. Okay, and then we will follow its path here. Let's shut that off for right now. Shut off the creative field so we can just follow its own path here. That way we don't screw up too. <laughs> All right, now let's turn on create a field. Let's knock out that grass right there. So we have kind of the same look around the field. Okay, we'll shut it back off. Plow this out. Yeah, this is going to be a big... Uh, yeah, for right now it's going to be one big field. <laughs> but that's not what it's going to end up being. We're gonna, I'm going to split it all up. I'll probably plow it. Okay, now we need to fix that. Fix that there. I might make this road a little wider on the edge. That might be the best way to do it. So we'll paint that in, I think. Make my dirt track around it a little wider 
in those spots to get rid of that uh, grass there. So as you can see, this is uh, pretty big right now. We're going to go straight across here. I think we'll probably plow this all together once they get that grass harvest done. We'll turn on the creative field here now again. Get back around to our other side. So you can see what we're doing here. Go around our grass field for right now. We're going to plow all this up into one big field, I think. Then I'll split it up into how I want it to look and what amount of fields we'll have. Go down here and uh, turn back across the land. So we'll take out this field drive. Part of it anyway. Go back down here and we'll go straight down to our other field. Uh, outline there. Straight down through here. And then we can look on the PDA and just show you what's going on here. See if we can meet up with that field pretty straight. I think we can. Alright, now let's go uh, shut that off. Okay, let's just... Uh, hop out let's look at this now so as you can see uh my fur my three fields that i originally purchased whoops are these three fields but i want to plow all that up together uh, along with joining these two fields here to all of this so these five fields will become one, but then I'm going to split them up to where uh, I want them to look like. So that's what we're doing. So let's uh, see if we can look at that a little bit better here. And a different, uh, oh, I think that'll work. That's good enough. So, yeah, we're going to plow 38, 92, 93, 91, and 90 all into big one, big one big area, I think. And then we'll uh, go from there. So, we'll hop back in the truck here. And I'm going to continue uh, working this all out, everybody. And so when you see the next episode, uh, we'll be probably working on this a little bit more. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, rebuild episode here as I showed you how I moved from the PS4 uh, version of FS22 to the PS5 version of FS22 on my brand new uh, PS5 with the latest update of Maple Farm, which now Maple Farm is going to have another update coming to it here very soon as well. So, yeah. If you all enjoyed this, if you please would drop me a tasty one on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people's delicious donut. And don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section. And please share a box of donuts with all your friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel. But for myself, Rusty Money, we will see you all on the flip side, everybody. Have a good one.